As we age, the skin thins and develops wrinkles. Underlying tissues lose volume and muscle tone, causing a droopy appearance. In addition, the bony foundation also alters, becoming more or less prominent. These changes affect the eyeball and its structural support systems profoundly. The outer corner of the eye is slightly more vulnerable and can weaken, causing a rounding of the lateral angle called dystopia. Chronic eyelid rubbing accelerates these changes. The orbital septum, a membrane which retains fat within the eye socket, thins, allowing orbital fat to herniate forward and causing eye bags. Weakening of the structural supports of the lower eyelid can cause the eyelid to roll outwards or sag downwards, called an ectropion. The cheek fat pad, called the suborbicularis oculi fat pad or SOOF, can lose volume or descend simultaneously, causing a hollow appearance at the eye socket rim known as the tear trough. A structurally weakened lower lid can also rotate inwards, called an entropion. These changes around the periocular region can contribute to a watery eye. In the upper lid, loss of skin elasticity and muscle tone can cause a hooding of the upper eyelid called dermatochalasis. The retroorbicularis oculi fat pad or fat pad under the eyebrow can descend or lose volume, causing the eyebrow to droop. Attachments of muscles responsible for opening the eye can weaken, causing an eyelid droop or ptosis. In summary, aging changes around the face and eyes cause the appearance of wrinkles, hooded and droopy eyelids and eyebrows, prominent fat pads, a tear trough deformity, nose to lip lines, thinning lips and jowling. The central facial triangle is the first to draw the gaze. Facial rejuvenating procedures that address aging changes within the central facial triangle, like eyelid and brow lifts, cheek and lip volumization, give the most visual impact.